Hey guys, for sure you show you in today's video, we're going to show you two different methods to add your Gmail email onto your iPhone. So let's get started. So the first method is if you want to use Gmail natively with the Mail app itself, it's really simple, straightforward to do. You can open up the Mail app, and if it's the very first time you're setting up any mail, you'll have this option to kind of go ahead and click Google Mail here, and then you're going to get this screen to go ahead and sign into your uh, Google account. Now, if you don't get this screen because you already signed into an account here, you can also add it by going into your settings and then you can go here and look for mail. And then once you go into mail, you'll see there's accounts. You click on accounts and then you'll want to do is add account and then it will give you the screen again once more and simply follow the step to add a Gmail. So in our case, we would just simply go ahead and sign in and it will get us to our screen email and it will show us our email in the actual mail app that's already installed on our iPhone. Now the other method to do is go to App Store and then once you go to App Store you're going to want to go ahead click on search and then search for the actual Gmail app itself. You can get an app separately by clicking on here where it says Gmail and you're going to do that get and it will download and install. We already have it downloaded and install and that means all we have to do is simply open it up and once you open it up, you're going to hit that sign in option and then hit Google here and then hit continue. And then it's going to give you the same prompt again. So we're going to go ahead and sign in with our Google account here. So all I do is I'm going to simply go ahead and put my email that I already have. And if you want, you can also create a free one to do if you want to create a new one. If you have an existing one, you can sign in or you can create, create a new one by clicking that option. Then you're going to hit next and then it's going to ask us for our password. So I'm going to go ahead, enter my password here, and you're going to enter, of course, your password. And let me go ahead, add my password here. And if you have two-factor on, it might ask you to do more verification. If it's your very first time logging in, As you can see here, uh, we have a couple things here. It just wants me to do another verification on my phone, which I will be doing here. And it will give me a code. So I'm going to say it's me. Alrighty. And after that, as you can see here, we just don't want to cover anything. But basically, we're in here and we're logged in. As you can see here, you can allow notification or don't allow, but you are logged in and ready to use it. The other way, as we mentioned here, as you see here, we can just simply to add it here, right? If you wanted to add it here, as we mentioned, you're just going to do go into settings here. And again, if you remember here, we go into mail option here and then we click on accounts, add an email, Gmail here. And you might want to do only one on either the Gmail or this mail because you don't want to get the same notification for two emails. So all I do here is sign in as well just to show you how I can get in here. So I'm going to enter my your email here or I can create a new one and then I'll enter my password here which I will cover here just so that I can get into my phone email. And again it's going to ask me to confirm basically a two-factor and then Basically, as you can see here, it's going to give you this kind of menu now. And then all you do is allow. And as you can see here, the mail has to be turned on just like that we have. And if you want contacts and calendar, other things, you can do that. Then you can hit that save option. And once you do that, as you can see Gmail is now available for us. And we can open up the mail app just like that. And as you can see, it's downloading all of our Google email just like that. So hopefully this quick little video is helpful. If so, please make sure that like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching guys. See you guys next time.